Hello everybody. So today we will see about one more activity for system monitoring which is ABAP dumps. You use the transaction code ST22 for looking ABAP dumps. Basically you use this tool to list the ABAP runtime errors that have occurred in an ABAP system as well as relevant short dumps of your login class. So with this you can also display them again, evaluate them, you can save it in the local file, you can print it and you can store them for a longer period of time and also you can display the statistics. So everything you can do in this transaction. So ST22 is the transaction to see for ABAP dumps. So if you want to see the ABAP dumps, say 20th April 2018. Okay. Now if you want to see for only one user or if you want to see the all users, you have to put star mark and then you have to either you can enter or either you can start. So if you so what is saying none of the selected short dumps exist. So it's saying that no short dump exists since that day. So if any short dump exists that it would have been responded. So it's saying none of the selected short dumps exist. So yesterday there were two short dumps If you click on yesterday, you will see there are two short dumps by user SAP star. So if you want to analyze this issue, you have to double click on any one of that particular row. It will open a new window where you can see the detail analysis of ABAP programming error. So here it will say what was happened, what can you do. Okay? So it's giving you the answer solution also with the issue. So on the left hand column you can see how to analyze the error. If you double click on this, you can see the error in the program. The error came in that program, basically in the ABAP program. And how to correct error? It's showing that if the error occurred in your ABAP program, then you have to modify. Who will modify? ABAP will modify. Okay? So they will try to remove the error, what it caused. So you have to send this screenshot to that ABAP developer. Okay? He will go and analyze that issue. So this is how you have to keep on monitoring on daily basis like how many dumps you are getting and from which user are getting you are getting the dumps you have to respond to that particular user saying we are getting this dumps so he he will go and see what the settings what programs he has made it okay so he will correct it and he will respond back to you so this is how you basically analyze the about dumb errors. Okay. Thank you so much for attending this session. Bye.